young females who have been uh, victims of these kinds of relationships, they actually come to their realizations and they actually start to, you know, open up and talk about what happened. Because when it's actually happening to you, obviously, because of your age, uh, you're stubborn and you want to defy the people around you. And ultimately, nobody can reason with you because you cannot use logic to reason with somebody who we perceive to be behaving irrationally. So, yeah. Just lastly, those people who basically justify it by saying, well, they're an adult. They're over the age of 18. They're an adult. They can reason. Man, that is just such a cop-out, lame excuse. Just stop being so desensitized. We don't all get to the age of 18 and then overnight, suddenly, we're an emotionally developed adult. It doesn't work like that. That is a fucking social construct. Ultimately, we are still emotionally developing young people up to and into our 30s and beyond. And one of the other parties in this relationship is so far advanced, it is an, it's not even worth contemplating. If an elder male in his 50s and 60s is uh, showing interest in you, as rule number one, do not get involved. Don't even allow him the opportunity to start grooming you. And just to prove my point, and I always use real examples from my real life, you know, young females that I care about, I know or have known, and this has happened to literally every single one of them. So if you're in a relationship with an older male and you're one of those who say you don't understand it, you know, he thinks I'm special, you don't understand what we have, I'm telling you now, yours is not an exceptional case. It happens to every young female your age. They're getting harassed by these elder predatory men on a daily basis. It's just that those other women are stable enough, they, they know their own self-worth, than to be putting up with the advances of these creepy elder men. But in the right place, at the right time, with the right set of variables, the right victim, these relationships with these predatory elder men can occur. But yeah, the example I'm making, the female in question, um, upon monkey branching from the relationship with her age mate to this elderly man, she said to her age mate, this man has made me realize how a relationship should be. Now, the relationship um, basically transpired. It occurred within a three week period. So she's gone into it blind. This is excelled development within a relationship. So like I can see from the outside, something is not quite right here. This is not naturally developing. It's developing at an unnatural rate. It screams manipulation. It screams forced connection. Within this three week period, this mum was using tactics of overstimulation, validation, love bombing, gift buying, sympathy tactics, coming out with all kinds of lewd sexual requests, even though he apparently loves her. Well, he doesn't fucking know her. So a 60 year old man going around in a workplace environment saying to a 26 year old female, I love you, I love you, I love you. This is clearly a very unstable man for his age. But when this young female says to him, I'm not looking for anything serious, and he says, that's okay, I'll take what I can get. He's clearly contradicted himself, but he doesn't give a fuck because he's so brazen with it. He's just using you for sex. It was all about sex. Just look back at some of the comments he made. And then consider that this young female essentially said to her male age mate, who was also 26, this man has made me realize how a relationship should be. This girl is clearly emotionally unstable. She she needs uh, the intervention of a competent psychotherapist. But you're gonna tell me because she's over the age of 18 that it's okay? Well, I'm sorry, but you wouldn't say it was okay if it was, for example, somebody who was uh, with mental retardation and you had an elder man. So let's say a 26 year old female with mental retardation and uh, a, a male in his 60s was uh, advancing upon her and it was uh, sexually motivated. That we would say, be quick to say that is ethically wrong. But what is the difference here? We have an emotionally unstable young female with a plethora of uh, psychological issues. She's ultimately clearly not in a good place mentally. So it's absolutely no difference. The exploitation here is absolutely deplorable. It is utterly sickening.
It's disgusting, okay? But they manage to groom, uh, manipulate, and ultimately convince their young victims that they're just a nice older man. This is often what I find being quoted. Oh, it's just a nice older man who... Da, 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 da. And it's like, no, this does not exist. A nice older man, if you were the one to advance upon him, he would have rebuffed your advances because he'd recognize this is a young woman, developing young female, she clearly has issues, she likely doesn't know what she actually wants at this point in her life, even though she thinks she does, but realistically nobody does when they're in their 20s. So there you go. However, we need, then need to consider that actually that's not what happened at all. This man, essentially, he was orbiting her in a work workplace environment. He identified her as his prime target, the most vulnerable person within this film set. You know, this is occurring within an industry that's supposedly taken measures in safeguarding young females. And um, he zoned in on her, hyper-focused on her, and advanced upon her relentlessly with just the most depraved, creepiest, predatory comments that I have ever heard in my life. So for this young female to fall victim to it, he knows unequivocally she's not okay. She's not in a good place. But by, So by staying with her, by welcoming her into this relationship with him, what does that make this man? What does it make him? It makes him an abuser. He's a manipulator. He is, by definition, a predator.